Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Guys, let's start with um, Australian dollars, US dollar. Today, Friday, the 22nd of March. Uh, primarily, the market will uh, digest all the interest rate move and uh, everything that was going on the last three days actually uh, let's check the calendar before we proceed so just a reminder uh, on Tuesday four days ago the Reserve Bank of Australia reported interest rates they kept them at 4.35% Bank of Japan increased the rates at 0% Consumer price index in Canada dropped. Consumer price index in the UK dropped. The Fed kept rates unchanged. Gross domestic product in New Zealand dropped. Employment rate yesterday in Australia increased. Uh, the Switzerland in Switzerland, the Swiss National Bank surprised us yesterday with their interest rates uh, from 1.75% they dropped them the first time after um, after COVID-19 that price uh, that interest rates drop in Switzerland and then the Bank of England reported interest rates and they kept them at 5.25% Today, 30 minutes ago, retail sales in the UK, they've been reported at 0%. It was zero, it was 3.6%, expected to drop to 0. Point, to minus 0.3%, and they um, and they increase instead of drop to 0%, they increased based on the forecast, okay, on the consensus. Later on, Chairman, um, Fed Chairman Powell speech, but again, um, the, the, the market moved based primarily based on the interest rates. Any questions on uh, that, guys? Because that was a really, um, really important, to be honest, to understand what's going on with the interest rates. Because if you understand how the, when the market will move and after the interest rate, what to expect from the markets when they are on the go, it, 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 it becomes a bit uh, easier to either find some pairs to trade or to stay away from some markets. Okay, because primarily the markets, they move, the currencies, they move based on their interest rates let's start with the australian dollar us dollar the price i have two moving averages here on the daily chart the 50 at the bottom with the red color and the 200 period moving average at the top with the green color the price yesterday although it was on the go uh, uh, by the end of the session it created this bearish uh, shooting star after visiting this order block here up oh, this one here and uh, today since the Asian and Sydney session the market dropped now the price yes the, the price this week tapped already into this order block so that's the second time the price will tap into the order block I'm not saying the price cannot find some support what I'm trying to say is that maybe it's better this time to wait for some kind of confirmation okay so the market did really well on the four hour chart and uh, it filled up all this all this gap and now it came back to the bottom so let's see what's gonna happen Pretty much the room of opportunity for traders that they were my looking to trade 
this setup here. It was a sell opportunity somewhere there. I didn't trade anything from here and a buy opportunity from this point. Now at this point here, there are a lot of question marks. Similarly, the Euro US dollar on the daily chart, uh, a weak bearish engulfing and today the price is moving even lower from that at the beginning of the week we commented that this kind of on the weekly chart guys this kind of inside candles on the euro us dollar on the australian dollar and all the other pairs um, they are subjective to some selling uh, opportunities but really because the interest rates were about to report this week we didn't exactly um, know what to expect and especially with the with the um, Swiss National Bank reporting at, um, a decrease on their rate so today what you expect from the euro US dollar maybe more sell off to be continue Keep in mind that here is a weekly low, so another 30 pips left, let's say, give it or take. The price though left on the upper end, these unmitigated areas that we might gonna see price come back to fill these uh, gaps. So we don't know if the price is gonna move below and then it's going to bounce off next one us oil on the daily chart daily chart makes higher highs and higher lows and it's in an uptrend however it reached a monthly high so maybe at this point reversals will occur and the buyers and the sellers will step in to create a new trend because we don't know that information I'm on the sidelines. I was happy to trade the next uh, few days after the price reached this resistance, but not anymore. Let's see what's going to happen on this one here. Um, yesterday we commented that if the price will break below this low and close, it might going to create this um, well-defined head and shoulder reversal pattern. The implication the minimum target is from the breaking point to the head of the pattern and we find the two percent and it's exactly it arrives right inside the first bullish engulfing order block you see guys how in in technical analysis if you are patient and you understand how to use um how to use all the tools and information you have at your disposal you can make your trading much more effective. Um, if, for example, you are into trading only smart money ideas and uh, to find where the, uh, the big whales, the big sharks, they're gonna enter the market and to go with them, first, you don't have in your disposal the information they have to know when to enter the market. Second, if you understand, we trade the, the, um, the second move after this guy's enter the market. But if you understand like, okay, this is a head and shoulder pattern, it's a reversal pattern. We find this pattern after the market moves upward. So, and it has all the, um, all the good criteria here. Market moves upwards, this impulse lag, this like here it's the longest this one the price on this move to the upside it gets a bit uh, sword and then consolidation a break and immediately reverse hundred percent it's moving it goes back to the uh, recent swing low so it shows kind of weakness in the market then it's trying to move upwards here and it can't and it moved lower creating this uh, this neckline so yeah, let's hope that the market is going to move beneath that. If you go down to the hourly time frame, 
the reason I like to go down to the hourly charts at the end of the London session is at the beginning of the sorry, at the beginning of the London session is to identify if during the Asian session it was no activity and like this one here the particular is this one here remember we said that after we saw the reversal on the daily chart and then from this point here that was uh, pretty much the pre-London session bearish engulfing the London session started from there so at this point here during the Asian session the market didn't move anywhere so uh, it was pretty obvious that uh, when the traders they will start their trading day in the UK let's say they're gonna they're gonna start looking for short positions at this point we are talking about big traders hedge funds that they are capable of moving the market with their bets okay gold check the daily chart guys uh, all time high remember yesterday we were uh, doing our analysis and the gold it was all time high it was a bullish uh, very well defined yellow candle but by the end of the day the price retraced and it closed right here where it opens pretty much it left behind this um, this tail it's a false breakout and it it's kind of price made a higher high and it didn't sustain it so it most likely we're gonna see some um, move to the downside now what is the good thing with that is this order block it's not valid anymore guys because the price already made a higher high if you have any questions please remember to put them on the box below and what we can see here is that because the price left so much of uh, unmitigated especially here and there it left these gaps behind we expected that sooner or later it's going to fill them up so and where we come come to combine now some of the tools we have in technical analysis for example Fibonacci retracements is like here let me show you for example if we consider that this is the swing low and this is this one it's the swing high because it's a false breakout the 61.8 percent of the Fibonacci retracement aligns right here let me take this out so the price most likely if it's gonna retrace and make a correction it will come all the way down here to give to to give this move back to the market so for now how can we trade it well for now the room of opportunity is from the current price up to here so if we go down to the four hour time frame maybe we can find some ways to trade up to here if the price breaks under this it might continue and move lower until this 61.8 percent and it finds support there maybe it's going to bounce to the upside um, on a lower scale on a lower time frames it just happened to leave the 200 period moving average on the hourly time frame now and you see how the price bounces off so when the market is really trending this kind of uh, long long longer time moving averages they respect it really well by the market because either uh, traders like it or not um, there are so many hedge funds and uh, companies out there that they are capable of moving the market financially they are using these moving averages uh, as a as a point that where they are they program their uh, bots and and stuff to to react that's why you see guys enormous reaction when the price comes and touches all this at, let's say the 200 especially that 200 it has a significant i'm not saying that just use the 200 i'm just explaining you what's going on so for our time frame the price uh, filled up this gap uh, on the prior move 
there are some intraday support down here down there so keep an eye on that maybe we're gonna see some more uh, reaction if the price closes bearish maybe it's gonna continue moving lower S&P 500 all-time high on Wednesday after the Fed announced the, uh, the interest rate so these order blocks are not for any usage anymore this one already played out so from this point here we are looking to find some opportunities that's a trend line of course traders they put their stop losses beneath the trend line um, moving moving on with the with the fib tool maybe somewhere around this broken and previous resistance we're going to see the price to come it's a good area that it has a significant uh, activity so let's keep an eye on this one maybe not today but for next week DAX of course another all-time high yesterday by the DAX that's the four hour um, still not very keen to do anything with the DAX guys Nasdaq 100 another one with its all-time high on the daily chart you see price made this this higher high here um, RSI still uh, register still registers uh, lower highs we might gonna see some counter trade move here because of this false breakout but again it's very my opinion it's very risky if you want to play out some breakouts uh, you can use this kind of this low here let's say with th this price range around the Tokyo high and, and low if you expect that the price will fill up this gap here so let's see what's gonna happen and then there is a bullish engulfing order block sitting right here guys this one here okay great British pound US dollar sold off aggressively bearish engulfing yesterday as you guys see here bearish engulfing now the price is trading below this lower point let's clean up the charts a little bit we have this low point here let's see if the price will stop and find some support another good thing with the sterling is that let's go to lower time frames it left all this area uh, empty area behind and it continued today uh, stochastic it's oversold so we might gonna see a bounce to the upside okay and the usdjpy it retested again yesterday this um yesterday and today this morning the all-time high so let's see what's going to happen with this one here yeah guys um i think from now on on the lives we're going to focus more on these uh, six seven currency pairs in this certain commodities that i mentioned because traders tend to trade more this one if you have any opinion on that one or if you want to add something on the list please put it on the comment below and for those who are going to see the live on the, um, uh, later on on the youtube please put on the comments below if you want to see any other currency pairs to prepare you for the day so i will leave you with this everyone thank you so much for tuning in here market minds mastery would like to wish you to have a lovely weekend and we'll see you all on Monday at the same time. Thank you.